Greetings to you. Welcome to Physics with Ben. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to those that need it. I'm sorry uh, this particular video is to correct an error in this particular experiment. Uh, I watch my videos anytime I produce them and I discovered that there was an error in this particular video and have come to correct that. Please accept my apologies. So, uh, this question is not a technical question. I miss it out. There was a statement here that given that the pivot is 20 cm from the center of gravity, not 20 cm from zero. So I will quickly draw this and then we will effect the correction. So as we did in the other video, uh, let me just use a uh, let me use this point to 10 as my ruler. Oh. This is how this diagram is supposed to be. So 5 here is supposed to be my center of gravity. CG, my center of gravity. Good. Now, the center of gravity it's at the it's always at the 50 cm mark for a uniform meter rule. It's always at the 50 cm mark for a uniform meter rule. So this is 50 cm mark. And so the this is zero and this is 100 cm mark. Good. Now the weight was hung at the 15 cm mark. The weight of one. 20 grams at the 15 cm mark. Good. Now, the pivot was 20 cm from the CG, meaning we we'll take our reading with reference to this particular point. So, 20 cm from here to here is supposed to be about 20 cm. So, this is where the pivot is. So, and then don't forget that the weight of the ruler is at the center of gravity. This is what we are looking for, the mass of the ruler. But then the pivot is 20 cm from this point, 20 cm. So to get this point, how do we get this point? How do we get this point. So, if from here to here is 20, then it means that from here to here is 30. Good. So from here to here is 30. So let's level it correctly. From here to this point is 30 cm. Good. But then, how about from here to here? It's simply 30 minus 15. And here is our 15 cm. So from the principle of moment, clockwise moment equals to anti-clockwise moment. So this implies that 120 grams times 15 cm is equal to 20 times the mass of the ruler. Divide this by... 20 this by 20 gonna have uh, 120 times 15 that will give you this implies uh, 1800 divide by 20 uh, this is equal to the mass of the ruler so our final answer is 90 180 by 2, therefore the mass of the ruler is 90 grams. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to those that need it. Once again, I'm deeply sorry for that error. Click in the description box below to watch the full video. Bye-bye. God bless you.